Burton. I'm one of the managers of the heating department at Milani Plumbing and Heating. There's lots of things that can go wrong with a boiler that should be checked. The main thing that you want checked uh, yearly when you're having a boiler inspection is to check the heat exchanger of the boiler. We have to use a mirror and go in there and check the heat exchanger. Concern is, if the boiler heat exchanger was to ever plug, you can get carbon monoxide and the product's combustion spilling out into the room and uh, that, can, that would be an issue, obviously. The issue is, if the spaces in between those fins get plugged up, then the uh, product's combustion will have nowhere to go except spill out this hole here and into your room. There's reasons why that's happening. Um, some boilers, in particular, have very tight heat exchangers where the spaces in between them are, you know, small. So what can happen is it, it, they plug up much easier. The reasons that they can be plugging up, but typically it's due to low water uh, temperature in the boilers. So if you don't have heat in, in part of your house, uh, on, a, on a hot water heating system, typically that'll be a result of a zone valve. So if you probably have a faulty zone valve, that is not coming on when your thermostat calls for heat. If you have too much heat in part of your house where you don't want it, where you have a thermostat off, again, that could be the result of a zone valve too that's stuck open. So if you have no heat in your whole house, mm. well, we can start with probably a very common one, which is uh, your thermocouple, which is this guy right here. At the very end of that is the end of the thermocouple. Right back in there, you can see the pilot assembly and the thermocouple is in behind that. So if your pilot's out, probably your thermocouple is burnt out and pretty simple to replace that.